This video is brought to you by Sailrite. These are the different sliders for the zippers. Uh, these are coil sliders. They're for the coil zipper that we explained earlier. That's the coil zipper. And on some situations, they actually will label the sliders fairly well. You'll notice here, on the front of the zipper, it says C. That's for coil. This one says Vislon, right across the top here. You can definitely see that. Remember, the Vislon zipper is the one with the bigger teeth, as you see here. And and then in some situations, they're labeled fairly poorly, like here. They, it is labeled, but it has a V at the bottom for Vislon. We have plastic sliders and we have metal sliders. Our preference here at Sailrite is the plastic sliders. They tend to not corrode. Some customers prefer the metal sliders because they say they're stronger, but I do find that they do corrode over time, several years. So uh, most of our finished zippers will usually have a plastic slider on them because that's our preference. But we do provide other sliders as well. There are such things as non-locking sliders and locking sliders. This is a locking slider. When you pull on the tab, you'll notice that, see how the, the little tabs on the inside come apart? These little tabs here? That will release the uh, slider and allow it to slide up and down. If it were grabbed, the slider just grabbed like this and forced up or down, it won't move because it is still locked into position. So it must require one of these tabs to be pulled to be unlocked. And you can kind of see that action here. When I pull on the slider, it unlocks. Now that's one style of locking zipper. There are other styles too. Let's find a different style here. Here's a locking slider that's installed on a finished zipper. You can tell because it has the factory stops and it also has the box and the starter post at the end. So this is a finished zipper or a jacket style zipper. You can tell it's locking because inside you can see a little metal piece in there and that engages the teeth. One way to tell if it's a locking zipper is to actually just pull on the slider and I'm pulling hard and it didn't release until I actually my fingers came down here on the slider, uh, the polar itself. As soon as I pull on the polar, it comes off. But if I do this, or if I have a lot of pressure down, notice it doesn't unzip. That's a locking slider. There's a pin on the inside of the slider, and we'll show you a slider that has a pin in it so you can exactly see how it works. Here's a YKK Vislon slider with a double pull, and there's the V that we talked about earlier. See someplace on the zipper. It can be on the front or on the poles or anywhere. You can designate whether it's a Vislon or a coil. And you can also see the metal locking system. See when I pull on the, on the actual pole, you can see it engage against that metal locking system. And if you look on the inside or the back side, you'll see that little metal tab. See when I pull on that, the tab comes down. That disengages the slider, uh, or the, the lock on the teeth, and allows the slider to move up and down. So again, this is a locking slider. If you look at a non-locking slider here, <clears throat> there's no metal tab on the inside, and if you look here, there's no metal uh, unlocking system when you look and you examine the polar on this. So this is a non-locking zipper. Now let's show you what a non-locking zipper would do when installed on a zipper. So I'm going to take a continuous zipper, and I'm going to separate the teeth just by pulling them apart. I kind of twist it at an angle and they pull apart. So the fat end's going to go up. We're going to walk this end up as well, evenly. So both sides are fairly even. And then we're going to just pull the slider. Right into the position. It's a little bit hard to get started, but once it gets started, it, it, it starts pretty easily. Now I'm going to separate the rest of the zipper and show you how it works. So again, this is a continuous zipper. Now, if I pull on the slider, obviously it zips. But if I don't pull on the slider and I actually pull on the actual car, notice it goes up and it goes down easily, non-locking. Do you want that for your application? Well, you don't want that for an application where you want something to stay shut all the time. But let's say you had a, a Spinnaker sock or a, a Genoa sock and um, you wanted to just pull on the two sides of the zipper to release the zipper. You can do that. Whereas you can't do that with a locking slider. So that's a non-locking slider. Now let's put a locking slider on this and show you how that works too. We'll take our locking slider, fat end up, put it on one side, walk them down fairly evenly. 
Now because it's a locking slider, I have to pull on the tab to zip it together. Now let's separate the rest of the slider. Continuous zipper like I discussed earlier. Now, I have to pull on the tab and the, and the zipper will slide. If I'm not pulling on the tab and I pull on the zipper, the zipper won't go anywhere. Okay, so you have to pull on the tab to release it. Now the zipper will always come back forward, but this locking zipper will not go backwards. So pushing hard on the zipper, it won't go backwards. It will go forward, but it locks so the zipper won't come apart easily. That's a locking slider. Now there's another way you can start a zipper instead of going from the fat side that we were doing earlier. I could leave the zipper teeth together and come from the bottom side. Now watch this. This is a locking slider again. Go from here. Now you have to pull on the tab. You can feel it click, click into place. I had to pull on the tab otherwise it won't come down. Now since it's in this position and I feel it a click, I'll pull the teeth apart slightly to break them apart. Now watch this. And it's on. That's actually an easier way to do it. So there are two ways to do it, but uh, doing it that way is actually a lot easier. Pull on the tab, clicks into place, pull the teeth apart slightly, pull the tab down. To add a slider to a coil zipper, you must separate the coil teeth, and it must go on only uh, via the fat end of the slider. Then carefully work both ends of the zipper tape onto the slider at approximately the same time. Then just pull the slider down. And that's how to install a slider with a coil zipper. This ends part three. Be sure to watch the following chapters to learn more facts about zippers. It's your loyal patronage to Sailrite that makes these free videos available. Thanks for your support.